All right, welcome back, everybody. We are finishing up. Uh, what is this place called? It's just the secret cave. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what it was called. Uh, Brackus. Um, Brackus's lair. Oh, how do we get yeah. across here? Oh, hidden bridge somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mysterious illusions all over this cave. Um, I think we're almost through it, though. Here's the treasure room. I would Look say be careful about touching that. any of that. <laughs> ne Necromancer. I, I place. cannot resist. The Tromptoy soldier. That's plenty. So these portraits that you see in the game, like this one right here, these are uh, Kickstarter backers. Like they sent oh, their, they, they, so they, cute. they sent pictures of themselves in, and the uh, artists did paint paintings over them. All of these. That's awesome. Yep. You think so I'm going to sell it? <laughs> oh, should we I got break these soldiers. The soul jar stands on its plinth, glowing softly. Lay your hand on the surface of the jar. See, or rather, you feel a far off land. Frozen breath hangs in the air. Pine needles brush your cheeks. And in your arms, you can feel a weight. A body, dead. But you have hope. Your vision swims. You're older. But perhaps not wiser. You march at the head of a shambling host, the enemies of Bracchus Rex melting before you. The scene twists again. Now Bracchus stands before you, a beautiful woman at his side. You lash out in treasonous rage, but cold arms bind you. You're sealed away in a tower. Your screams fill the darkness. You feel a jolt and open your eyes to see the soul jar before you, lying still in the vault. Your hand falls from the jar and grips the pillar. As you try to calm oh, your okay. ragged breathing. So I listened to this one and there's like choices to either slip the jar into your backpack, take the soul's jar and smash it to pieces, remove the lid from the jar and absorb the soul inside, or leave it alone. <laughs> I have the same choices. Yeah, I'm not sure I would say smash it, but... I'm gonna smash it. A human spirit slips from the ruins of the jar. Decked in necromancer robes, she turns to you bows and starts to fade away to nothing. I saved them. My death waits. I get this one. The necromancer's memories fade to black, but the feelings remain. We're better off without vile necromancers like that. Yeah. Anyone who marches at the head of an undead host deserves one must wonder how many more lives they took. How much misery the scum caused. The jar on the plinth before you, the pictogram as you roll. He promises you try to. F he promised your hand drops away from. You see a shape. Farewell to flesh. Farewell to bone. Farewell. <gasps> a purple bow. Nice. Dark Whisperer. Oh my goodness. And it gives finesse with plus one. Just putting it on. That is badass. Let's see how much his damage goes up. 19 to 20 to 29 to 36. Break. Holy crap. I just like doubled his damage. No, you can't. No. Oh, that looks sweet. This is goblet, silver goblet. Wow! The like terrible the... vision fades. What is this? Just another. Gratiana used the pain and deaths of others for her pleasure. She should be damned until the end of time. Whatever a person may have done in life, they can always be redeemed. Check out his glowy blue bow. He trembles and seems to shudder with a quiet sob. I'm cursed, you know. Bloody Bracchus bound me here to protect his vault. He has my soul in that jar just there. Oh. And I can't leave without it. As long as the jar stays unbroken, I can never truly die. I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. His favor was... in t Really? He drops to his knees before you and grabs onto your feet with both hands, head hanging. Thank you. Ooh. 
Are you seeing these rewards too, or is it just me? I did not see them. I wish I could. Um, there's chapter one. There's a staff that's twenty to twenty-five fire that gives plus one intelligence and plus one telekinesis. Just bought you a new one though. Is it better? Mm -hmm. It is better by a good bit. But there's also um, a chest armor harness that's one strength and one hydrosophist. And then there are some pants that are finesse that give one plus one constitution and 10% fire resist. I mean, it's up to you. I'll let you decide. I can't really see them and make the comparisons. Well, do you need a chest armor really bad? Um, I'm rocking up Migo's breastplate. Three magic armor, six, 17 physical, plus one strength. Oh, this is like double that. You should get it. Okay. I hate the look of mine, so an upgrade would be much appreciated. We also got a blue oh, yeah, that's handed dope. axe. My axe is 19 to 21 physical, one strength, one warfare. Well, you can take a look at it. I just sent it to you. So oh, it gave you both? Well, yeah, because oh, one of them one... was just part of the reward. I see. It's a one-hander, though. It would be good for... Um, Wow, look at this armor. Look at that wand. That is way oh, better than my cool freaking tin can. Yeah, it looks really neat. Like like some um, scale mail kind of stuff. Oh, we have a switch here. We made it to the end. Woohoo! So we are only seven minutes away from finishing, and I ended the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Could have got just over an hour, that's okay. Oh, hey, there's a statue over here. I didn't really think anything of it. Maybe I should have clicked it. The deity's head and hands are missing, severed as if by a sword. You come as you take in its chiseled details, Light all the candles. you have a vision. The statue comes to life and embraces you awkwardly with its broken arms. Oh god. Uh -oh. What sure what just happened? Are you in a different place? No, it took you. Place? Like you disappeared. I was reading it with you and then it's like you disappeared. I'm, I'm not here anymore. I'm in the source land. Uh Oh. What in the world? Lauren. Okay, I teleported there too. Okay, let's get our companions to do it. Uh, Are wait. you but you're not here with me. You're in a different spot. Uh, you're on the northeast side. I'm on the northwest side. Oh, God. And we're... Oh. And I'm assuming our companions would need to teleport and they'd get... Oh, goodness. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> the deity's head and hands... Oh, my companion didn't get an... Uh, yeah, she didn't The deity's either. head and hands... All right. Well, it's up to me and you. Let's uh, figure this I out. Guess so. What in the world is this place? I like how when you walk, the ground lights up around you. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, it's like. It's a NPC lizard lady. Okay. The helmeted figure before you slowly turns oh, to face you. I think a human. He raises his weapon, Probably a great ethereal be. sword, and rushes forward, ready to strike you. The figure plants a foot before you Apparently and swings his sword down hard, stopping short just over the base of your skull. The sword seems to hesitate, enticing the fine hairs on your neck upward. Your struggle is meaningless. You are too weak. The wound forms, then heals, then forms again as you rise. The figure spins away from you, observes you through narrowed eyes. He springs forward again, faster this time, ready to strike a second blow. The figure charges you head on, ready to plunge the sword into your chest. As he charges, he suddenly evaporates into the ether, passing through your body. Deep, dark cold blooms in every particle of your body. The figure materializes behind you and grabs your head with one hand, pressing his sword to your throat with the other. 
If you so much as breathe too suddenly, it will slice your jugular with ease. You... You are my champion? How I wasted my efforts saving you as the ship went down. The time for gratitude is gone. The fight to survive is the only remaining battle. The Divine is dead. Voidwoken haunt the night. Do you think I would let my people, our people, suffer so deeply without intervening? I chose you to be my champion, but it seems I've chosen wrong. He staggers back, holding his nose. The wound on your neck quickly knits together. He smiles. You may do well after all. Recognize me. You are my champion, and I am your god. He lifts his visor. Two deep green eyes fix you in their stare. Are you having a fight? You know you are speaking to Relic, god of all humans. Not yet, but I hear Roz in the background. Um, I'm talking to my god that saved me, picked me to be a hero. I see something in the background going crazy. I thought it was you. I don't know what's You've brought yourself. It's like fighting. This gives me hope. Bunch of NPCs? I see a spark in you. The beginnings of a fire that may blaze our path back to preeminence in Rivalon. This is why I have chosen you to lead you. To think I would have just ran by that freaking statue thinking divinity. nothing of it. This is why you are my selected. My God woken. God woken. Let me show you. Okay. A great surge of power arrests your heart, your mind. When it passes, you feel ecstatic, replete. Mm, okay. Um, I'm out of there now. Did you talk to your god? Yep. I you talked to her and then she gave me a full new ability and then booted me out. I blessed the water beneath your feet so that it would aid you. Now you have the power for yourself. And this is only the beginning. More and greater powers await you, if only you will seek them. One marked for one who can either rise to this great task, or let your purpose will be great. But the first step is simple. You and you alone must safely leave this place. Good. I am not the only of the seven seeking a champion, my child. Your friends may have been similarly summoned by powers that threaten the very existence of our race. He casts his gaze over the war below, where God fights God. Times have changed. The gods are at war. The victor will choose the terms of peace. If we fail, if you fail, a father knows when he may trust in his children and when he must intervene. I do not disappoint. Well, hello. Uh, that was interesting. Mm-hmm. So what ability did I get? I got a water balloon. Uh, that can't be right. I got bless. bless. Yeah. He said something about, but we need source points. Again, like, we're getting source abilities, <laughs> but we don't have source points. I don't get it. I don't know either. I feel like we're missing something. You know? Well... I would say usually yes, but I... Like, what would we have missed? We went over that place, like, top to bottom. I don't know. That's a good point. Well. Well, well, well. Alright, what do you say we gonna get, get on out of here? Mm-hmm. Giggity, giggity, get! Hmm. You remember where the exit was? Oh, here it is. Yeah. All right, let's do an actual save. Cave finished. Bam.
All right, we were only at 15 minutes in, so we got some time to explore. What do you say we go check out this little town in the south here? Whatever this is. I'm assuming it's a town. Yep. Can we go down this way? Oh, probably not. You could teleport me up there. <laughs> and then I can lower that rope. Ooh, look at that lizard lady. She looks cool. Haha! <laughs> Come or on I could up. just convince her to let us in. <laughs> I just let myself in. She notices your collar, <laughs> and you can see the tension. No. No, I suppose you don't look like a magister. I apologize for the steel tipped. Well, with one graceful motion. Come, ascend to the sanctuary. Is there a reason you you skip through it? I know you're reading it, but oh, so for, I just think the... you were reading it, so I was just trying to be quick about it. No, I listen in. Be welcome to the sanctuary, Amadi. All right, we made it to no, a sanctuary. No. Gary would know what to do. That won't ever stop. What's up, homie? A young man in oversized armor paces around a table covered with a spread of maps, his face a tight scowl of frustration. Every approach blocked. Oh, damn it. What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? A sorcerer? Indeed. I should have realized. A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. Hmm. You meant Verdus. Oh, then he's as good as dead. We're the seekers he spoke of. We were supposed to free him. Instead, we failed him. You, a god woken? Surely not. Though if Verda said so, well, I kind of figured that out by important. going in the cave. <laughs> but there's no way to be certain until we've left this blasted island behind us. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You found a matter close to his heart, evidently. I think we're supposed to come here first, then go in the secret cave. That's. That's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Maybe. You mean Much the Brachus Rex place? Yeah. yeah it's a Magister's I don't house think order matters. That they was just like a side quest. Weapons called Shriekers. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. We've lost many already. Seekers, well, we guard the true principles of Lucian. And there are sorcerers who can follow in his path and become divine. Godwoken. We seek them out and protect them. Verdus was a godwoken, our best hope. Our last hope, most likely. We tried to free him, but we failed. I'll be our savior. Now the Shriekers block all escape routes, though. We can't get off this island until we get past them. They were sorcerers once, but after whatever perversions the Magister subjected them to, they're death incarnate. If they can see you, they can Which kill you. Bad. Instantly. Ooh. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> no. They had things in that, like that in Divinity Original Sin 1, and they were no joke. Like, they would kill you instantly. After we retreat, yeah. sneak around them. It's terrible. Sir Gareth Ugh. set out looking for some ancient weapons that could counter those things. Then we could break the Magister blockade and escape this island. But he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow, well, this island will be our grave. You'll, you'll help us. His shoulders visibly relax, the weighty armor upon them settling with a click. Thank you. Allies are in short supply in this place. 
If you help us, I promise we'll get you as far away from this place as possible. Do you have any other questions for him? Should I? I don't know. You could go for it. Please ask. Whatever helps. Um, I think I found out I am God Woken based on that God that chose me. Um, mm -hmm. Ask him where Gareth might be. None. He set out to find those source weapons, and that's the last we saw of him. The masked priestess, Gratiana, told Sir Gareth of them after she granted us shelter here. She was reluctant at first, but... Well, Sir Gareth, speak to her if you wish. She may know more. The Magister flagship, the Lady Vengeance, she's anchored at the old harbour. Once the way is clear, we're to take her and get so the hell out of here. So that's the ship you were thinking of, right? Possibly. Um, and mm, there was a paddle boat over the sewer. I was thinking, but maybe I don't know. It's it all alpha stuff. Um, oh boy, he's got spells. Uh, let's see here. Nice. Okay, it's all tier two stuff so far. Okay, so maybe we just need to come back at a higher level. Um, he's definitely got some decent gear on him, though. Uh, we could do some stealing at some point. I'd wait it out, though. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we don't have to do that right now. Now. Uh, they have dye. Red fabric dye. Uh, I'm seeing some familiar items from Divinity 1 in here. Very interesting. Another amulet. Ring. Yeah, we could get some good stuff in here in terms of gear, but probably be better to just wait and steal when the Tier 3 books become available. You know what I mean? Probably, come, yeah. Come back at that sweet spot when the, uh, they restock their goods. So I was talking to these dwarves over here. It looks like this gal, Leia, she's kind of cray-cray right now since Gareth is gone, but it apparently she can remove source collars, so it sounds like once we get Gareth back, she'll be okay, and then can probably remove our collars. Ah. Gareth's the only one that brings her out of herself. Without him, she's... well. Duggan lays his hand on her shoulder, squeezing it tight as tears roll down her cheeks. Now that's a kindness. Thank you, friend. Um, what's crazy is like, okay, let's let's do a quick save here. Okay, what it, says, it, says, it says the time on the quick stamp, doesn't it? Uh, In-game time? Aren't we supposed to talk to Gratiana? She's like dead over here or something. So close your sweet eyes and rest your head. Why is she dead? Doesn't say how long we've played for, does it? No, in, I don't know. In game time, day four, twenty two thirty four. I don't know. We haven't played for twenty two hours, definitely not. Uh, or maybe we have. I don't think that seems right. But this whole act one, I mean, we have to beat all this area just to get to the ship and then sail out of here. Uh, that is a crazy long act one. I'm assuming there's four acts mm -hmm. there were in Divinity 1. So there's a unidentified ring. I guess I need to send it to um, Ethan to identify. Do you? You can't identify it? No, it said requires a lore master 2 to do. Please come back. 18 magic armor, one warfare. Can I yoink that? If you want to keep it, yeah. It's warfare. Damn, I'm up Maybe to seven warfare to now. I don't know. No, no. We don't have the time. Think, damn it. Alrighty. The lizard holds a crimson-soaked rag against his side. 
Oh he yeah, and the first ring played. that I picked His up. expression <laughs> oddly serene. It's like a quest to put it <sighs> on, but it's like totally cursed. I don't know if that's a good thing. Is it? Like, so why is she dead? Like, I'm lucky in a way. wasn't she the priestess we were supposed to talk to? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I didn't see a dead person. Save your strength. It wasn't just sword and spear the Magisters used on us. No. They had these weapons. Living beings, depleted of source and crucified, pathetic to look at until... Until... The power that they unleashed. There was nothing we could do. Only run. Shriekers, they're called. I can still hear that sound they uttered. Makes my scales crawl. Mm. Sir Gareth is looking for a way to defeat them now. Focus on your breathing. The lizard's eyes are now closed, while his breathing is ragged and shallow. Oh, he tortured her to death, I guess. No, wait, then he says, because he says Gareth basically, like, persuaded her to talk to them, and then he's like, speak to her if you wish, you may know more, but she's so pretty dead. <laughs> oh. Ifan looks anxious, an unfamiliar look on the lone wolf. Stepping closer... He whispers urgently in your I I know who's hunting Godwoken. It's the Lone oh. Wolves. Afon says, I know who's hunting the Godwoken. It's the Lone Wolves. Afon's people are hunting us. Oh. <laughs> and I can go deadpan. Well, we should be fine then. A small smirk Jester. crosses his features <laughs> before he tightens his lips and looks back at you. Stern now. A contract like this is no joke, friend. A contract like this is no joke, friend. Uh. Martha's axe looks serviceable. I intend to find out. I bet we can track down my old pack and ask some questions. Last I heard, they were camped out near Driftwood. He wants us to head to Driftwood to talk to his old pack. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, let's keep a lower profile. Oh, you were listening in? Yep. If this is all we have, we're done for. A grim-faced man sifts through a pile of badly damaged weapons. Hey, Salvaging the repairable, ditching Still the broker. Bits. He picks up a rapier. Not that we the need them, nicked though. And splintered, the hilt twisted. Well, it's nice to see them. I accidentally killed the necromancer vendor in the last town. Uh, any new summoner skills? No. Yeah, we definitely have to come back when uh, we get another level-ish. We're pretty close to leveling. I'll keep an eye on it. I'll poke back in every. We'll pop back in every level or so. He holds the damaged blade up to the light. This was Halorn's blade. It was his first. It was also his last. He didn't intend to die here, but die here he did. He was an ordinary soul with an extraordinary heart, Halorn. And he died for what he believed. What did Halorn believe in? He believed in truth. He believed in hope. He believed that Alexander is a killer of Godwoken. I believe that on one point at least, he was right. Are you eating food? <laughs> Maybe. The point breaks away, leaving a jagged edge. The sword is shorter now, but it'll do more damage. Who are you? He realizes, <laughs> to his surprise, that he holds the weapon in his hand, ready for battle. He smiles to himself, tucks the weapon away, and gets back to work. All right. Um. We aren't really safe here, are we? So long as Gareth returns, we will be. How many people are in this little town? Wait, is there something down here? Mm, maybe? It's a dead swordman. Do we want to end the recording and like explore the town some other time? Are you uh, about done? I guess it's really late, isn't it?
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're about half an hour. All right. What's this sanctuary of media? Very nice. Yeah, there's only a few more people to talk to. We can do it uh, off screen or in the next episode, definitely. Um, and then. I mean, we made it through most of the forest. I think there's a little bit more to do up north. We have a treasure chest to do, and there's some, still some mysterious areas to uncover. I feel like we've dented maybe half of this new section, not even. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see if it reveals even more than that. Could be even a third or a fourth, who knows. But, um... Definitely some good progress in the last couple episodes. Mm-hmm. Lots of battles, too. All right, so we'll end it off there. Pick it back up another day. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye now. Rest, Jules.